So as I was saying, this construction worked fine from a functional standpoint. The pipe spoke. But it looked too unusual to have a three-part three part flue pipe with the PVC pipe on top of this, on top of this. Even though these two latter parts by themselves looked quite all right. So the next solution was to cut the mouth directly from the PVC pipe. Using a common wood saw, I just cut into the end of a pipe uh, at an angle, producing a parabola again, which I capped with cardboard, in, uh, which I capped partially with cardboard, with the edge here to create the upper lip. This being the final orientation of the pipe. Now this here was just an early prototype using a larger diameter of PVC pipe, three inches versus two inches. To create the final assembly, it was just a matter of aligning the upper and lower assemblies for correct airflow, ensuring that the air exiting the foot uh, impinged squarely on the edge of the upper lip. So that might involve some adjusting back and forth and hot gluing the two assemblies together. And that produced the PVC flue pipe. Now, I mentioned the icing equation in my earlier video. Uh, this is an equation that mathematically relates certain parameters of pipe construction. What we can see here after removing, after removing this original length of pipe is that what speaks for a given length of pipe may not speak properly if the parameters are changed. So that's it. See you next time. I hope that this series of videos makes clear what you need to do to create a flue pipe. I would be more than happy to respond to your questions regarding construction. And now I will record some dead time in order to compensate for the frame dropping problem. Uh, happy building everybody!